Hey, what's up everyone? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. We're on to lesson 2.9 and we're going to talk about controls in action. In this particular video, we're going to talk about UI buttons, switches, and we're going to talk about the UI slider as well in this video. So go ahead and open up a new project and you can call it controls in action or just like I did, just controls. Save it to your projects folder and let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to the main dot storyboard. And the first thing I want to do is I want to add a button back to the screen. All right, so I'm going to work off off of the iPhone X once again. And as you can see, I have my simulator set to iPhone X. You could do the same or whatever device that you choose to work with inside of the storyboard. Make sure that, you know, it's the same in both places. All right, just for consistency and, uh, you know, just our uh, build. I mean, in this particular video, it really doesn't matter, but, you know, just keep it the same. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and search button in the object library. I'm going to drag that out to the screen. I'll put it here in the middle, zoom in a little bit. And what I want to do now is I want to pull open the assistant editor by tapping on the two intertwined circles here. I'm going to pull that open and I want to create an IB action. Now, I alter mine a little bit. I erase some code that we aren't going to use, like the uh, did receive memory warning. I deleted that. You can do the same as well, but just make sure that, you know, you don't delete your last curly brace for the class. So if you go left and right over the curly brace, you'll know that, you know, belongs to the class because that first one up there triggered when we went back and forth and uh, because if you do, you'll, you're, you'll get errors and you know, your app will be messed up. So make sure you pay attention to that. If you will, if you do delete that memory did, did receive memory warning function. All right. All right, cool. So I made some more space and I'm going to control and drag from my button to the space down here. And I'm going to change the connection to an action. And I'm going to name this, button tapped type can be any the event can either be touch up inside or the primary action trigger which will basically call the action at the same time the touch up inside function would use but uh let's just keep it touch up inside for now all right so we're going to keep it there i'm going to hit connect all right and I'm gonna to go to the view controller. I'm gonna close out of that. Just hitting the standard editor button. All right, so now we're back in the single view. So we have an IB action created. All right, so we got our button on the storyboard and we got it connected to the view controller. And as you can see, inside of our function here, inside of the parameter, we have a parameter called sender. Now sender is the, the specific control that triggered the action. So in our case, what triggered the action? The button being tapped. So instead of this parameter uh, being any, we can actually change it to UI button. So instead, so when we were creating this IB action, we could have changed it um, before we hit OK, but you can also do it this way. All right. So all we want to do now is something very simple. So we can just say print. button was tapped. All right, now build and run your app and we'll see if this works. All right, so I'm gonna click on this button now that it's up on the screen. And as you can see, I tapped it and our print statement printed down here in the console, button was tapped. So that works successfully. I'm going to go ahead and stop it for now. I'm going to go back to the main storyboard because currently our button isn't very descriptive. It just says button. All right. So I'm going to click on the button and over in the attributes inspector, you can do it either way. You can do it from the attributes inspector or you can just click on the button and change it. But I'm going to say something like, uh, tap here. 
All right, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do the command equal, so it all will show. And I'm gonna do something else. You could do whatever you want to, but I'm going to also, I'm gonna change the color, change the color to red. And then I wanna give the, I wanna give the background, I wanna actually fill the button with some color. So I'll just do like, I'll do like a black color. Uh, let me see, let me see. Black color, cool. All right, so now this button is more descriptive, the actual title, and you could do a whole lot from the Attributes Inspector. You guys can check that out and do what, whatever you like to your button. Uh, next, we're gonna talk about UI switches. So go ahead and go back to the object library and type switch, and you can drag that out to the screen. I'll just put it right underneath here. And so you know that UI switch is basically, you know, that it's a toggle switch. So it turns something on or off, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this to our view controller. So pull open the assistant editor once again. Uh-oh, the wrong one popped up. I don't want that one. I want to make sure that it's automatic. So if this happens to you, as you can see, you know, something looks a little off, right? Because we know that, you know, we have our button created already. And we know that there was some code in here. So, and this says internal class view controller. This isn't what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to manual. And I'm going to go to automatic. And then I'm going to go to view controller dot swift. That's what we want. All right. So, you know, we got this class view controller, UI view controller. All right. That's what we want. So I'm gonna make some more space here and then I'm just gonna control, I'm actually doing it from here now. So from a document outline, you can do it here as well. So with the switch highlighted, I'm gonna control and drag or if you don't have a trackpad, you can right click and drag. I'm gonna change the connection from my outlet to an action and I'm just gonna call this switch toggle. And then I'm gonna change the type from any to UI switch. You hit the drop down and you can click that. And then uh, we'll leave the event as value changed, argument sender, that's fine, all right. Hit connect. Close out the assistant editor by just hitting the standard editor again and go over to the view controller file once again. Inside of our code, what we wanna do here is we wanna say, we wanna use our, we wanna use the sender as um, a part of our, as a part of our logic. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a simple if statement. So we're gonna, so the sender has a bool value that, that's called is on, so we can use that. You can also create an IB outlet if you wanted to from the same switch, but this is a, this is just a little bit easier and quicker. So I'm gonna do this. So type if sender dot is on, and as you can see, after you hit the dot and you start typing the I, this should pop up is on and it says a boolean value that determines the off on state of the switch so i'm just going to do that very easy if it's if it is on i want to print this i'm going to print something silly you can print whatever you like we are on like the porch lights. We on like the porch lights at night. <laughs> That's what I put, all right? And then I'm gonna say else, there's only two states. So it's either on or off. So else, you don't even have to say is, is on again or, or false, you don't have to do none of that. Just a simple else statement, all right? So I'm gonna say print. We are. We are going off like Kendrick Lamar. All right. So we own like the porch lights at night, or we're off. We're going off like Kendrick Lamar. That boy won about five Grammys last night. That's what's up. All right. Back to the lecture at hand.
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run this, and we're going to see if this worked. All right, so I'm going to toggle this switch. Click and drag it. All right, so it's off. We're going off like Kendrick Lamar. It printed. Now I'm going to go on. We on like the porch lights at night. Cool. That worked. And our button still works. Button was tapped. Button was tapped. Good. All right, I'm going to stop this. Now, last thing we're going to go over is the slider. All right, so go back to the main dot storyboard and type in slider in the object library. Drag that out on the screen. I'm going to put it above this. You can put it wherever you like. Pull up the assistant editor again. And we're going to connect this to the view controller. Uh, know that this curly brace is a part of that. We want to go underneath that, obviously. So I made some space. I'm going to click on it from the document outline. Control click and drag or right click and drag. Change it from an outlet to an action. And then I'm going to say slider moved. I'll change the type to UI slider and then the value change. That's fine. I'll keep it there. So something neat that you can do with the slider. And we obviously know that sliders are used for, um, you know, changing the volume of an audio type of an app, or you can use it to, you know, the, to change the lighting, you know, of an app or something like that. You know, you've got that in your, in your uh, settings app on the, on the iOS devices. You know, you have your settings to where you can change, change the brightness. You can, you know, toggle, the, you can move the, you know, the, you know, the value, um, you know, either to the right or to the left to change the brightness of your device. You can do that. So you've seen it there a lot. And there are other apps that use the slider as well. And so what we're going to do here for this function, we're going to say, we just want to print the value. So we'll say print sender dot value. All right. And so as you can see at the top, it says the sliders current value. We're going to go ahead and build and run the slider dot moved now. All right, so let's try it out. So as you can see, as we move the slider value from left to right, the value changes and it prints it out like we asked it to. All right. Cool. So guys, that was just a little preview of a few different controls that we have at our disposal and UI kit. Stay tuned for more. This is St. R. Edwards with the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for everyone. You guys take care.